Now, good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we are to draw this diagram, this block in isometric. In our previous video, we did this. Now we want to draw this. Like I told you earlier, we are given a diagram in isometric to draw. You first of all draw your axis, right? Your isometric axis, which is the x, y, and z axis, and we are going to do it this way. So you draw the vertical axis like this and place it to draw the horizontal axis right so I can just tip it in here and draw my horizontal axis do the same thing I'll turn it the other way around to draw this right so this is the three axes that we said we are to draw that again now if you look at this point here if I draw my inclined line here like this my straight line Right, this point you're seeing is this point here. Right? So I can easily just draw my line this way. You can see that. Now if you look at the total length here, it's given to be 80 from the end here to the beginning here is what 80. And that point is what? this point right so i'm going to measure 80 well, let's do that and see from 0 to 8 right is given as 80 now from this same point i'm going to measure another one which is what 10 plus 30 is given as what 40 from the beginning to the ending here is 40 so I'll measure 40 so I'll place it here and I'm going to measure 40 right so this point now I am going to elevate them I'll take it from here draw a vertical line this way I'll take it here also draw another vertical line this way you can see that now the next thing is the height so let's see what the height is now the height from here to here which is from here to here is 30 and another height from here to here is what 25 so 30 plus 25 is 55 so i'm going to measure 55 so place my meter rule at this point here which i am going to measure 55 so this is 55 here so i'll use my um set square to complete the box so from this point here i'll draw this this way right because what i use in drawing this line the same i i'll even draw this right then i'll come to the other point also what I use in drawing this line is what I'm going to move on my C square right to draw this this way and also this this way and I can just turn this what I use to draw this is what I'm going to use to draw this you can see that I have brought out my shape now it's for me to start carving out the figure out of this block, right? Just act like a sculptor. So let's see our diagram again. Now if you look at from here to here is thickened, right? So from here is from here, which is the distance of what? 60. So if you look at it, 60 from the top right corner is giving us what? 60. So I measure the 60 here. 
right from this point here to this point is 60 right in which i can tick in with the help of my meter rule you can see that so we set from here to here is 60 which is shown here that is the 60 you're seeing from here to here again at 60. now the next thing is the height of what the height of 30 i'll take in it from the upstream point which is this point here so i'll measure 30. So from zero to this point 30 i'm going to what take in it You can see that and similarly if you look closely i'll draw a vertical line at this point here as of all i'll start with a faint line and i'm going to take this up the faint lines first now if you look at our diagram you discover that from this point to that line i drew up which is ticking and also the line also is ticking so i'll tick in this point from this point right with the help of my t square on my test c square it says square my t square i'm going to place it on my t square this way and ensure that it is tangential to the edge of my board then i'm going to tick in from here go down to here and also from here down to here you can see that now if you look closely discover that from here inward is 30 so from here inward is from here inward and also the same thing applies here it is what 30 so I'll use my t square my c square place it on my t square then I'll draw a parallel line here this way and also here this way and I'm going to measure the distance of what 30 if I measure distance of 30 at that point from this end here it is where it will be right around here and I'm going to thicken it right I'll thicken it then with the help of my c square, put it on my t square. I can easily project this point here, just like it is shown in the top right corner of the screen. I'll give you this. Right? And I'll close here up too. Right? So we've done that aspect which is this aspect here right now i'll connect here together so from this end point here to this point here is 20. so this point to this point is this point to somewhere around here i will give it up to go 20. so with the help of your t square and c square if this is at that point i will take you to this point here and you draw a line this way to touch here because we know the entire length is 80 and if you move 60 from 80, you will left about 20. So that is a 20. I'll just connect from here to here straight ahead. Right? Then I will take here up to make it form a complete loop. Then I'll close here up this way. And also here this way, just like it is shown on the screen. So the reason why it's getting easier like this is because at the beginning of the video i drew the entire length the entire height and the entire width so my measurement is uh, is limited so this is how it is shown on the screen close it up just tracing my lines you can see that so since we've done this aspect 
I just look at our diagram in a bigger, in a broader way. Now, if you look at, we've drawn all this out now. From this point, I'll draw a line, 35 inward. So this point is this point. So I'll draw a line, 35 inward. So from here, I'll take a line, faint line first, before I measure 35. From zero right to this point is what 35 in which I am going to take in you can see that now from this point which is this point I'll measure it inward again with a distance of what five right if I want to measure it outward with a distance of 10. So this point is this point. So we'll see we'll measure it inward first. Faint line. I'll measure 5. So from 20 to this point here is 5. And I'm going to what? Taking it. If I want to measure outward this way with faint line with a distance of what of 10 just like it is shown on the figure so this is 10 here from here to here it's given as 10 so i can easily thicken it this way right right and I will now connect it to this point here. You can see that? Now, if you check a diagram, you see that something is coming down here. Then I'll bring it down there. Right? If you look at our diagram now, the line I draw down here is this line you see. So I'll now measure a line. If I get that line, is that from behind of the block, I'm going to measure 20. Because if you notice it, there's a line going in through here, right? Which will be a faint line. So from that end to this point here is 20, which is this 20 here. So I measure 20 from behind. This point you're seeing around here is the point will be somewhere around here. How? Let me show you. I take my T square. And I complete this shape here. And I complete here this way. This shape here. Now that point is this point. Right? So I'm going to measure 20 from that point. So you're measuring 20 from 0 to 2. It's given as what? 20. Right? So this is 20 here. So this is where actually I'm going to now thicken it. So from here to here, I will not thicken it. Right? So at that point you are looking at now, which is this point, I'll put it a line upward. Why? Look at our diagram here. So from this point, I'll put it a line upward, right? Which is this point. So since I have my total height, I don't have to panic. I'll just put it at that point. Either I measure 20 or I'll just draw it straight up because I already have the total height before. So if you measure from here to realize that it's meeting my the top of the block, which is and if you look at the diagram from here to here is also ticking. So I should be able to tick in from here to here. Right? Then from the diagram you discover that from this point here which is this point here i measure 20 then another 20 then another 20 so let's do that so i'll measure 20 from here to 20 here right so let's take in it right 
then with the help of my I think I'll just draw the front line first at this point then I'll just connect here to that point since it is 20 is another 20 here then close here up another 20 right then if you look at our diagram this is coming down which is 20 so i don't have to stress myself because i already have the base of the line there that is the beauty of drawing the entire length the entire height and the entire width right so i'll use this faint line down first of all then connect this to this you see that Then I'll close it up from here to this point. Then I'll close it up from here to this point. Now this is what then I'll close here up to at this point. So we are successfully reproduced the figure right we have successfully reproduced the what the figure now what you need to understand is this is the isometric block here and i hope this video has been helpful to you please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and watch out for more intriguing videos Thanks for watching.